Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Corbin May and I will be your instructor and guide on this journey to learning advanced VEX in Houdini. We'll be working our way through from the very basics of coding to advanced manipulation of data and exploring how we can apply this in Houdini. Now before we begin, let me share a little bit more about me. I'm currently working as a senior effects TD and lead effects artist at Axis Animation in Glasgow. And I've been working in the CG industry for almost 10 years now, working on games, feature films, advertisement, everything. And uh, when I began my career, I was actually trained on a program called Softimage, uh, which I'm sure most of you will have heard of. And if you know anything about it, you'll know it was discontinued. So when I moved on to Houdini, I had to start learning from scratch and it afforded me a great insight into the whole learning process within Houdini. Uh, and I know, I know Houdini is a very technical piece of software and it's very different when compared to other programs out there. But once you begin to understand the language of Houdini, when you can communicate with it, then it is without a doubt the easiest and most powerful piece of software on the market. And the goal of this course is to teach you one of the most flexible and widely used languages in Houdini, VEX. So I hope you enjoy this journey with me and that by the end you'll feel comfortable and confident in your ability to shape and manipulate your Houdini scenes to create beautiful works of art. Now, I know most of you will be following this course uh, while working full-time or studying, so I've structured it in a way that you can easily keep up with it. Each week will consist of seven lessons of about half an hour each, give or take. You know, some are a little bit more complicated, they run a little bit longer, but around about half an hour. So if you can just set aside an hour every day to work through the video and then just play around, test it yourself, then the information is going to sink in a lot better. And then each week just ends with a practical exercise where we apply what we've learned that week and then I'll also assign you some homework. Now, obviously this isn't school, nobody is going to fail you if you don't do the work, but these are designed to help distill all the information we covered. And by putting it into practice, you're more likely to remember the techniques and start to understand VEX on a deeper level. So the first two weeks are designed to be a bit of an, an intro into coding in HScript, Houdini Expressions, and the basics of VEX. as just, just a way to ease you into coding. And this is especially for those who have never touched coding at all. Uh, but even for those who, who have, you may find that there are some gaps in your fundamental knowledge uh, that you're unaware of. So these two weeks are basically just to give us a solid foundation to work on and kind of get everybody on the same page. Now from there, from the third week onwards, uh, we're gonna ramp up pretty fast. So if you're lost at that stage, I would highly recommend that you stop, practice for a bit, play around with the basics until they sink in, because we're going to start covering some really difficult topics after that point. And don't be afraid to ask questions or, or even find, you know, there are other um, resources out there, even just reading the Houdini help file helps you learn the language on a basic funding, a fundamental level. And then in week six and seven, we're gonna start entering into our final project. So from there, it's, it's essentially the, the culmination of everything we've learned throughout the course. And we'll be working through it together and I'll show you the thinking and the logic behind how we build a detailed procedural system in VEX. And in the end, we'll see how you're able to take that fun, foundational knowledge and build it in any way you like. So if you're stuck at any point, you can ask each other questions on the Discord server and forums. Uh, I'll be available to help and answer questions and also just anyone else at Rebel Way, they, they'll all know this and be able to help you and guide you. Um, so you'll have plenty of support and guidance. Uh, but I also encourage you to actually get stuck. You know, get yourself stuck and confused, push yourself, experiment, and then try and get yourself out of it, okay? Because if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the fastest way to learn is to actually grapple with the problem, to wrestle with it, and then you'll come out not only having solved the issue 
but you'll also have learned in a way that will never be forgotten. That information will stick in there and you'll probably have picked up a few other techniques or, or more of an understanding of how it works, you know, rather than just the answer that you were looking for. So don't be afraid to do that. That's what you're here to do. You're not here to, you know, every minute of this course to be 100%, you know, in the know, oh, I'm fully understanding, I'm fully following. Well, then you haven't done an advanced enough course, you know, then, then, then you already know VEX, you know, you need to push yourself and get confused and then find the solutions and that's how you're gonna learn the most. Okay, so I'm really excited to share this experience with all of you and I look forward to seeing you all grow and learn and just become amazing artists and you know to understand VEX on such a deep level that you can manipulate it in any way you need. So good luck everyone and I'll see you in the next lesson.